For my work, I prefer space and simplicity, and as a consequence, like to shoot in slightly murky, foggy conditions which help me isolate my subject. Sometimes the weather just isn't right, and while it's possible to achieve a similar effect in post-production, this takes time, and for me at least, it feels so much better to achieve the results in camera. The Lee Mist filters are always in my bag for when nature is just not playing ball. I found this little composition. It's very early in the morning, uh, a lake uh, down here, close to where I live in France, and uh, it's beautiful light this morning. I found this little composition with these posts, and I want to do something very simple with these, something almost Japanesey with, uh, with little, like little paint strokes. But I, what, I'm, what I'm struggling with, and you can see this from the last shot, is this, this horizontal line, which is the, the strip of land on the horizon on the other side of the lake. I need something to just tone that down a little bit, and I was hoping for a bit of mist this morning. Uh, nothing at all. So what I'm going to use instead is the mist stripe filter. I'll just pop that into the runners there. Now the exposure time is going to be about eight seconds. Uh, and we'll see what that does. Okay. Now you can see this time, no problem. It's starting to get a bit brighter now, and uh, uh, the mist stripe filter is working beautifully on the, on the horizon there. But what I'm going to do now is just add uh, the mist gradient, just to take, really take back all the sky and everything, just take it right back to basics. So I'm just going to slot that in to the second slot behind the first stripe. And watch it go through, and it'll just take out all the detail in the sky. There. Okay. Ready to go. Perfect. It's worth remembering when using the mist filters to select an aperture no narrower than f11 to give a natural mist effect. In the right situation, these filters will give the most fantastic results.